Thousands of fighter jets have been created by different weapon companies for the sole purpose of bolstering defense systems of nations. One particular aircraft has been in the spotlight for more than a decade. Interestingly enough, even after several years, it is regarded as unmatched. With capabilities that cannot be compared to any other and features that make it far superior to any other jet in its class, this weapon has shaken the world of weaponry with its insane capabilities. What is this reverent fighter jet that has left the world flabbergasted? What are the unique characteristics that make it stand out in this technologically advanced world? And who can take credit for its development? Join us as we go behind the scenes of the world's state-of-the-art stealth fighter jet, the F-35 Lightning II, the birth of the ultimate weapon. The journey of the development of this unparalleled fighter began with the Joint Strike Fighter Program. This program's aim was to develop an advanced aircraft that would demonstrate the concepts for next-generation strike warfare and that would also replace some old fighters, which includes the Harrier, F-16, and F-117. In order to make this happen, they needed international participation, and they started with the United Kingdom in ASTOVL. The UK joined the Joint Strike Fighter as a founding member in the year 1995. Other countries like Italy, Netherlands, Denmark, Canada, and even Australia soon followed the UK's lead. These countries all collaborated to build this fighter jet. Now that they had all the international participation that they needed, it was time to move on with the process of developing a unique aircraft that the world had never seen before. In the late 1990s, Boeing and Lockheed Martin were chosen to create their individual prototype aircraft for the program. These two companies being the leading engineers in the development of fighter jets. The Lockheed Martin prototype, which was referred to as the X-35, featured a unique lift fan system for short takeoff and vertical landing operations. Boeing's X-32, on the other hand, made use of a direct lift system for short takeoff and vertical landing. Both aircraft companies built prototypes that demonstrated different takeoffs and landing capabilities that included conventional and carrier takeoffs and landings. Several flight tests were conducted for both prototypes. After carefully considering their options, the JSF declared Lockheed Martin as the winner of the project in October of 2001 and also awarded the system development and demonstration contract. Lockheed Martin's prototypes would consist of the X-35A for demonstrating CTOL before converting it to the X-35B for STOVL, before converting it to the X-35B for STOVL demonstration, and the larger winged X-35C for CV compatibility demonstration. To make it a complete package, Pratt and Whitney received a separate contract to supply the F-35 with its powerful engines. The fighter jet's designation was chosen on the spot, which was a deviation from the standard Department of Defense numbering. This immediate move even surprised Lockheed Martin. Let's dig into the futuristic designs of the F-35. This jet is part of a group of next-generation fighter jets that has a single engine. It can fly at extremely high speeds, topping out at Mach 1.6 or 1,200 miles per hour, allowing sleek penetration of the enemy's defense system without being detected. This jet is a single-seat, single-engine, all-weather stealth multi-role combat aircraft. It is intended to perform both air superiority and strike missions. The F-35 Lightning is the second fifth-generation aircraft to be used by the United States and also the first one that can fly at supersonic speeds. These are speeds that have only been seen in movies, like Top Gun, but never confirmed in reality until now. It is also the first jet to ever make use of vertical takeoffs and landings. The Lightning focuses on being extremely hard to detect by radar and other similar equipment. It makes use of advanced technology and sensors that keep it almost like a living being, completely aware of its environment. These sensors help engage targets from a long distance. With these out-of-the-world features, the U.S. Air Force relies on the F-35 as its main fighter, especially in missions like suppressing the enemy's air defense, for example, the ongoing conflict in the Red Sea. It is also able to provide electronic warfare and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities. This fighter jet has a specific wing tail arrangement with two vertical stabilizers that are angled to make it stealthy. It also has several control parts. The wingspan of its variants, the F-35A and the F-35B, is short and about 35 feet that enables it to fit on the United States Naval Amphibious Assault Ships. 
The third variant, the F-35C, possesses a larger wing for better fuel efficiency. To manage the flow of air, the supersonic inlets make use of a unique design. This aircraft's structure is influenced by the F-22, which made use of composite materials for about 35% of its weight. One thing that makes the F-35 different from its predecessor is that it is heavier due to its large internal weapon storage and advanced avionics. Even though the F-35 is not as fast as the larger twin engine of the F-22, it is on point with the fourth generation fighter like the F-16. This is because the F-35's internal weapons bay gets rid of drag from external stores. All the variants of the F-35 can reach a top speed of Mach 1.6 with a full internal payload. The powerful F-135 engine that powers this fighter jet provides amazing acceleration and energy. This allows for supersonic dashes in the afterburner and triplex redundant fly-by-wire controls. The aircraft offers exceptional handling qualities and departure resistance. It is also important to note that the F-35 has a fuel capacity that is double the internal fuel capacity of the F-16. It also has a significantly greater combat radius. So why is the F-35 considered the most powerful fighter jet ever? There have been several questions concerning the features that make the F-35 a better fighter jet than any other out on the market. Being stealth is a very important feature that comes with the jet's design, and this feature is achieved by reducing the radar cross-section. The diverterless supersonic inlet changed from a four-sided to a three-sided cowl shape and was moved 30 inches aft. The fuselage section was fuller, the top surface raised by one inch along the center line. Created with materials that make it stealth, the aircraft is very hard to detect, even by the most advanced missiles ever developed. It has the ability to infiltrate any defense system and attack its target without being detected until after it has successfully achieved its mission. No other aircraft possesses this almost perfect invisibility. This sleek feature can be achieved through shaping the aircraft carefully and making use of radar absorbent materials. Visible methods that are used to reduce the radar cross-section in this plane, the diverterless supersonic inlet of the F-35 held to remove the need for a diverted cavity, and this further enhances its stealthiness. Interestingly, the fighter jet's radar cross-section is said to be lower than that of a metal hold ball when it is at certain frequencies and angles. The F-35 relies on a single engine that has the ability to generate 40,000 pounds of thrust, reiterating that it has a top speed of Mach 1.6. It can carry four different weapons internally in contested airspace, or six additional weapons on external hardpoints in low-risk environments. Even though it relies on one engine, one thing that makes it stand out is that it is powered by a very powerful engine, unlike other jets that might need more than one engine for maximum efficiency. The single Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine is enough for the F-35. Derived from the F-119 that was used in the F-22, the F-135 features a larger fan and a higher bypass ratio for subsonic thrust and fuel capacity. For the F-35B variant, the F-135 PW600 includes the shaft-driven lift fan system that is responsible for short takeoffs and vertical landings. It was developed by Rolls-Royce and Lockheed Martin. The aircraft's software was developed as six releases or blocks for SDD. The first two blocks, 1A and 1B, readied the F-35 for initial pilot training and multi-level security. Block 2A upgraded the training capabilities, while Block 2B was the first combat-ready release planned for the USMC's initial operating capability, IOC. Block 3I preserves the capabilities of 2B while having new hardware and was designed for the USAF's IOC. The final release for SDD Block 3F would have a full flight envelope and all baseline combat capabilities. Alongside software releases, each block also incorporates avionics hardware updates and air vehicle improvements from flight and structural testing. In what is known as concurrency, some low-rate initial production LRIP aircraft lots would be delivered in early block configurations and ultimately upgraded to Block 3F once the development is complete. After 17,000 flight test hours, the final flight of the SDD phase was The F-35 has been targeted by cyber attacks and technology theft efforts, as well as potential vulnerabilities in the integrity of the supply chain. Inside the cockpit are large touchscreens and a helmet-mounted display system for real-time information. 
the distributed aperture system and six infrared cameras allows the pilot to see through the aircraft. According to Lockheed's general manager for the program from 2000 to 2013, Tom Burbage, the technology that would combine stealth, vertical takeoff and landing with supersonic capabilities cannot be possible in a single aircraft. This art has been achieved in the F-35. Even after all these unique features that it boasts of, the fighter jet is still receiving recent upgrades as technology is ever evolving. Lockheed Martin is working on an internal weapon carriage that would enable it to carry two more missiles. What is it like to be a pilot in the cockpit of this incredible machine? Let's take a look, shall we? The cockpit was designed to give the pilot not only a clear understanding, but a clear view of the situation around the aircraft. The main display is a large touchscreen. This main display shows flight instruments, stores management, CNI information, and warning. Thanks to this technology, the pilot gets to arrange the information in an order of increasing importance. The cockpit has a speech recognition display that was developed by Adacel. Flight and combat information are shown on the vector of the pilot's helmet by using a helmet-mounted display system. The tinted canopy is one piece that is hinged at the front and has an internal frame to make it strong, which is a Martin Baker US-16E is launched by a twin catapult system on the side rails. There is a right-hand side tick and throttle, hands-on throttle and stick system. For life support, there is an onboard oxygen generation system that is powered by the integrated power package with an auxiliary oxygen bottle and backup system for emergencies. The Vision Systems International helmet display is an important part of how the F-35 pilot interacts with the aircraft. Instead of a head-up display on the dashboard, the helmet-mounted display system projects flight and combat information onto the helmet visor, making it visible no matter which way the pilot is facing. The HMDS can also show infrared and night vision from the distributed aperture system, allowing the pilot to practically see through the aircraft. This system lets the F-35 pilot launch missiles at targets even if the aircraft's nose is pointing in a different direction. Each helmet costs $400,000, and there are concerns about the weight of the HMDS, which could pose a risk to lightweight pilots during ejection. Due to issues like vibration, jitter, night vision, and sensor display problems with the helmet-mounted display system during its development, Lockheed Martin and Elbit proposed an alternative HMDS based on the AN AVS-9 night vision goggles in 2011 with BAE systems chosen later that year. However, adopting this alternative would require a redesign of the cockpit. Development on the alternative HMDS was stopped in the Gen 3 helmet that featured improvements like a better night vision camera, new liquid crystal displays, automated alignment, and software enhancements was introduced with LRIP Lot 7. What does it take to maintain this asset? Let's take a look at that process. As already stated, almost all the features that come with the F-35 make it stand out. This fighter is designed to need less maintenance than when compared to the previous stealth aircraft. Almost 95% of all parts that would need to be replaced due to damage during combat can be accessed directly without the need to remove any other components. Even tasks like replacing the ejection seat is made possible without taking off the canopy. This is music to any aircraft mechanic's ears. The F-35 utilizes a fiber mat radar absorbent material into its skin. This makes it robust, easier to handle, and quicker to repair than older radar absorbent material coatings. Developers are considering using the same kind of coating for older aircraft. In order to address issues like skin corrosion that has been observed in the F-22, the F-35 makes use of a less galvanic corrosion indices skin gap filter and improved drainage. The flight control system also makes use of electrohydrostatic actuators instead of the regular hydraulic systems. These controls can be powered by lithium ion batteries during emergencies. The common features among variants allows the U.S. Marine Corps to learn and apply the lessons learned from the Air Force to the F-35 operations in the form of the first aircraft maintenance field training detachment. This made the fighter the perfection that it is today. Initially, the F-35 had support from a computerized maintenance system that was called the Autonomous Logistics Information System. Because of the idea that any F-35 could be worked on at any maintenance facility, all the parts of the aircraft can be tracked and shared globally as needed. Due to various issues concerning reliable diagnosis, excessive connectivity requirements, and security vulnerabilities, the ALICE would be replaced with a cloud-based system called Operation Data Integrated Network, or ODIN. 
From September 2020, the Odin Base Kit started running the Alice software along with Odin software at different locations that included the Marine Corps Air Station Yuma, Naval Air Station, Lemoore, and Nelly Air Force Base. In 2020, more Odin Base Kits will replace the Alice's server because the performance of the OBK is twice the performance of the Alice. The most recent upgrades started in 2022. The F-35 Adaptive Engine Replacement FAER program was launched to integrate adaptive cycle engines into the aircraft by 2028. The United States is the primary customer and financial backer of the F-35 project in its plans to procure 1,763 F-35As for the Air Force, 353 F-35Bs and 67 F-35Cs for the Marines, and 273 F-35Cs for the Navy. The original plan was that the U.S. and eight major partner countries would acquire over 3,100 F-35s through 2035. In December 2021, it was reported that Lockheed Martin was developing a new variant for an unspecified foreign customer. The Department of Defense released $49 million in funding for this work. The sky's the limit with this aircraft. It will be exciting to witness all it can accomplish over the next several decades. This concludes our wild journey through the skies with the F-35 Lightning. What do you think of the capabilities of this aircraft when compared to its predecessor, the F-22? Which version is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. And if you learned anything new from our video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos.